Increasing the oil pressure in Volkswagen, Audi and Porsche 3.0 TDI is one of the ways of extending engine life. The 3.0 TDI engines appeared in vehicles of the Volkswagen Group back in 2004 and, until recently, they were considered the most reliable engines of these German brands. Well, until recently, until 2014 to be specific when the EA897 Evo engine was built to meet the requirements of the Euro 6 standard. The engineers from Volkswagen decided to reduce oil pressure at low engine speeds to lower the energy required to generate the pressure. This was also supposed to reduce exhaust gas emissions in line with the Euro 6 standards. Since then, VW, Audi and Porsche cars started to use dynamic oil pressure control managed by the engine computer. It works like this. The computer controlling the engine receives data from the oil pressure sensor and then controls the solenoid valve to achieve the set point saved within the program, commonly referred to as a map, which defines the oil pressure depending on its temperature and engine speed. There is no need here to explain why insufficient oil pressure accelerates the wear of the lubricated parts in the engine. This is one of the reasons why the 3.0 TDI engines in vehicles made after 2014 are no longer as durable as their predecessors. We have vehicles in our workshop with an engine seizure after barely 100,000 kilometers. The repairs for such a seized engine can cost 7,000 euros or more, depending on the severity of the seizure. A new 3.0 TDI engine without accessories costs 19,000 euro. If you have a Volkswagen, Audi or Porsche with a 3.0 TDI engine made after 2013, check your engine pressure and save your engine from a major failure. Let's take a look at the pressure we are talking about. Our patient, an Audi A6 C7 from 2015 with a 3.0 TDI CRT engine. For this model, assuming that nothing has been updated, the oil pressure will certainly be too low. We can check this, which can be done using any diagnostic equipment. Set the parameters we need to check. Engine RPM, oil temperature and actual oil pressure. This is what you see. Speed, zero. We have yet to start the engine and the oil pressure is already 950 HPA. Why? Because the sensor is measuring atmospheric pressure. This means that the pressure that is displayed after the engine is started will be higher than the actual pressure by the value you see here. Next, we can start the engine. The pressure is now 2000 HPA. When you deduct the value we measured earlier, you can see that the oil pressure in the engine is actually approximately 1000 HPA, or about one bar. At low engine speeds without a load, this would not be so bad, even though I think it should be slightly higher. Let's see what happens as we go on. As we press on the accelerator, the speed rises, and the oil pressure remains at one bar. We now have 2000 RPM, and the oil pressure is still one bar. At 2100 RPM, the pressure has just reached 1.2 bar, and after exceeding 2300 RPM, the oil pressure starts to rise, but it's still just 1.5 bar. Only after 2500 RPM does the oil pressure increase to 3.4 bar, although at this point, the transmission has already switched to a higher gear. Such a low pressure is just terrible for our engine. Under normal conditions, if we are not particularly hard on the gas pedal, then the engine will not exceed 2,300 RPM for 80% of its service time. That means precisely the range where the pressure is much too low. This is why this needs to be corrected as soon as possible to prevent an engine seizure. We need to get to work on this. To increase the oil pressure, we need to reprogram the engine controller. Okay, so what is next? We read the controller memory. In most cases, we can do this using the OBD diagnostic port. In some models, we have to pull out the engine controller and reprogram it on the bench. Next, we have to change the oil pressure set points in the program. This requires a bit more equipment and knowledge, and I would not have it done at any random repair shop. Come and visit us at our service center. We have been providing this service for more than five years now. We sometimes do it several times a day. Upon prior arrangement, we can do it on the spot. It usually takes about half an hour. Now we save the modified program in the engine controller. Okay, it is now saved in the memory. We can check the oil pressure in the engine after the program has been modified. Remember, we have to deduct atmospheric pressure from the indicated pressure. At low engine speeds, the pressure is about 1.8 bar as compared to the one bar before the change. 
When you accelerate, the pressure rises to 2.4 bar at 1700 RPM instead of 1 bar. At 2100 RPM, the pressure reaches 2.8 bar, where it used to be 1.2 bar. At 2300 RPM, the pressure was previously 1.5 bar, and now it is 3 bar. While at 2500 RPM, the pressure was 3.5 bar, and this has not changed. The pressure did not increase further at higher engine speeds before the modification, and it does not increase further after the reprogramming. I believe that a higher pressure is not necessary and could actually do some damage. You do not want to overdo it. Watch our other videos. Subscribe. We are soon going to be posting some videos about other interesting services we offer at our service center. Just remember to use our services.